the client for this hotel was really the, uh, the Ace Hotel Group and also a local developer group who put together a consortium to build the project. So our client was kind of a double, double-sided double client. And then we actually worked with Atelier Ace, which was their in-house design group in a collaborative and wonderful way uh, to realize the hotel together. The Frame Awards is all about recognizing spaces and products that matter. Industry professionals representing a 15-person strong jury panel discuss their favorite projects of the month, consisting of a winner and honorable mentions. The Ace Hotel is located in this um, really downtown neighborhood that used to have a whole series of industrial buildings. It was really the Garment District of Toronto. Many of those buildings have really disappeared over time and the project itself really tries to create a very important urban ensemble in this neighborhood, recalling in effect these uh, warehouse buildings of the past. So part of that is actually building time into the project, uh, layers of construction. So when you enter the hotel, usually uh, you're not really certain whether it's new construction or a renovation of an existing building. For us, that's actually a really good thing because this kind of sense that uh, buildings are not always instant, but really involve uh, layers of construction, uh, for us was really an important part of the idea of the hotel. It's a bit of a manifesto for us because uh, the Toronto's gone through a huge building boom in the last, let's say, 25 years, of largely condominium buildings. And we believe that the, the city needed some, what I would call fabric buildings, like really kind of simple urban buildings that help to build a city and not just a series of objects. So the choice of brick was actually not accidental, but really important because it's reinforcing the existing fabric of the neighborhood. When you come and see the Brandt and Camden Street elevations, there's actually a lot of depth because it's actually not a skinny, thin, flat building, but one that has presence, and the depth gives it a certain uh, robustness that uh, again relates to these um, existing industrial buildings. So we're not designing an industrial building, but we are actually really trying to recall these amazing qualities of this existing fabric and build them into the design of the hotel itself. I think physically, you know, it's actually quite a small site. It's only 25 meters by 25 meters and there's quite a lot of building on the site so to put this kind of dense pack of uh, program on a small site was a good was a kind of jigsaw puzzle in a way to kind of make it all fit but I think that actually contributes to the uh, interest in the public both the public spaces and, the, and how the rooms and the, and the rooftop bar work that is kind of like a complex kind of um, puzzle I would say. So one of the th hallmarks of the lobby, which I would consider a kind of public living room, is a series of poured in place, board form concrete structural frames. And those frames transfer the load from all the hotel rooms up above right down to the foundations of the building. And, but in the lobby, you're actually seeing these arches and the way that they transfer to what we call these knuckles, which are these large uh, steel knuckles that help to bring the load right down to the base of the building. The result is a dynamic sectional condition. So you're in the lobby, there's a restaurant below, there's second floor meeting rooms above, and there's a fairly complex interrelated space that is the result of those key structural decisions. The stairs in and around the lobby reinforce that dynamism of people moving from space to space, up and down. It kind of really weaves together that three floors of kind of complex space. When first viewing the Ace Hotel in Toronto by Shim Sutcliffe Architects, you're initially drawn to the clean simplicity of the design. It captures the nostalgia of a time when fine craftsmanship was embedded into every product and material. Although the materials are left in their somewhat raw appearance, there remains a playful use of color through wood staining and light that casts the spaces in a fall seasonal palette. Note that this project had a really strong sense of place, I appreciated the nod to the building's original heritage as part of this industrial neighborhood. Um, 
And the fact that they've used all of these natural materials was really effective in creating this very warm, inviting environment, um, which happened to be balanced with these very modern um, and very memorable forms. Ace Hotel Toronto shows the power of a good idea to allow the most modest materials to shape a very sophisticated spatial language. It's just really important within uh, the cities that we live in that we have architecture as opposed to just decorating and uh, that architecture speaks about a place and it grounds you in a location.